Just to Wells today is down at the Pink Ladies Ride Day down at uh, My Catcher down the Gold Coast. Mate, how did this all come about? I've um, just been working really hard to try and get heaps of girls in and uh, spoke to the guys at My Catcher to get it all happening and seeing if we could organise a girls only day and um, we got a fair bit of interest so I thought we'd throw it out there and see what happened and yeah we got a fantastic response and support and we got 23 girls and I think there's about 10 new girls to the sport so awesome. yeah it's brilliant that's what I was sort of aiming for yeah. to try and get as many as I can only expecting to sort of get five but yeah, we've no, pushed I'd, really hard. I drove through the gate and I was quite surprised. Like, yeah, no. Tents up and bikes everywhere. You're yeah, happy, it was really awesome. happy with it. Yeah, so happy. Like, I just wasn't expecting the turnout and the support. And I mean, a lot of hard work goes into it behind yep. the scenes and social media and, you know, getting it out there as best as I can. But it's all sort of paying off and we're getting a lot of girls and new interests and it's fantastic. <laughs> Well, you have been an instigator of getting female racing really recognised. Um, yep. You got Troy to recognise a girl class this year and you had 12 girls roll up. Yeah, That's at the That's obviously going to um, get bigger next year. So, well, you know, this is awesome that we see more and more girls out here. What do you have to do to get to, to get bums on seats? Well, to, for the Classic it was obviously extremely hard being oil and needed their own setup and stuff. So obviously I worked really hard to get that. I mean, this style of, of racing, the dirt dirt surface, it's a lot easier. A lot of motocrosses can just transfer over and, you know, there's not much setup difference. And, and basically I'm just trying to do as much as I can. I go out to a motocross track all the time and try and get girls to come over. And, and we've got Gemma Wilson on board now with the Pink Ladies and she's an enduro rider. So hopefully we can cross some enduro girls over to dirt track and, and just try and up the numbers and, and more make it about having a girls class instead of having a competitive girls class. Yep, to yep. me, if you want to race, you race the boys. Yeah, fair enough. If, yeah. if you want to go hard and you want you, you know, you know, want to bump bars, race the boys, because they're going to push you as hard as any anyone can. So with the female class, it's just about trying to get numbers in. And you know, every other sport in the world, females have their own, their own class and they're very competitive. So that's what I'm trying to achieve, that it's not about watching the boys and seeing how fast they go. It's about getting girls, you know, girls in the track and having a go. socialising time too and I think you know a lot of guys do get more socialising out of the riding than actually do riding a lot of the time. Oh it's 90% <laughs> social like hanging out with a team or having people you know involved in it and that's what I'm trying to create with Pink Ladies is you know me being at a meeting and, and having little girls come up to me in, in a Pink Ladies t-shirt and feeling that sort of someone to look up to to be a part of what we're trying to do and it's not just about who's under my quick shade it's about everyone that I can sort of you know get involved in the sport and, and feel like they're a part of what I'm trying to do instead of having it, you know, like most race teams is this is our team and stay away where yeah. I'm trying to invite everyone in on it, you know, keep on Facebook and emails and, you know, communicate on the phone and come and chit chat whenever you can and yep. just try and make the girls feel a part of something instead of having them, you know, at arm's reach. <laughs> Just Wheels point of view, you're doing a fantastic job. Where do you see Pink Ladies in a couple of years? And obviously you've got some sponsors that help you get here and, and support you. Yeah, well at the moment um, I'm, I'm hoping to get um, a few bikes. Um, today I've got, Honda have given me a 250 and a 450 to race. So I've let my 250 out and that's what I'm going to be doing. I've got young Taylor Rao for Road Racer and she's going to be riding my 250 for today. And then hopefully down the track what I'm aiming for is a full range of bikes to cover all ages so I can invite kids to come and have a go, not to race, but just to come and be a part of a day like this, which is all about fun and, you know, mm. getting people the experience that they, they haven't had the chance to have a ride before and be a part of it. You can't let all the boys have all the fun, can you? No, that's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Ralph, um, road racing extraordinaire, female road racer of Australia. 
um, at the Pink Ladies trying some dirt track. What do you think of this? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, Pink Ladies have given me the opportunity today to uh, have a go at flat track. It's my first time doing flat track in about seven years. So, yeah, the most powerful bike I've ever ridden is a KDM 65 before this. <laughs> but, yeah, no, massive thanks to Pink Ladies for giving me this opportunity. And, you know, once I get some uh, confidence up in the dirt, you know, it'll improve my road racing so much. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Out all night dancing Uh, the dirt track. The dirt track is a lot cheaper to get into. Is it something that you would consider to do later if the road racing got a little bit more expensive? Yeah, honestly, like um, as I said, it's my first time out here in seven years, and I just completely forgot how much fun it was. And I'm, in, um, even though I'm not exactly going the fastest out there, I'm having an absolute ball. So yeah, yeah you know, definitely might look into starting racing and getting an actual flat track bike that I can have a bit of a go on. So yeah, it should be interesting. And what are your thoughts about all the girls getting into motorbikes these days? Yeah, I love it. Like, cause uh, I'm so used to road racing. How there's hardly any girls whatsoever. I think just the speed of it and stuff does scare a few girls out. But you know, looking at the turnout today and what Jess has uh, uh, achieved with this, it's absolutely awesome. Cause I don't care about my own. to see more girls out the road racing track with you. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, uh, for it not to be, I'd love for road racing to not be such of a male-dominated sport. So, yeah, a few more girls than me and Sarah would be nice on track. <laughs> <laughs>